So in this part, we're going to be painting the trailer. So first thing I want to do here I've got a cleaner degreaser. So this is specifically made for chassis and engine parts and things like that to degrease them before painting. So according to the directions on this, you want one, one part degreaser to about four parts water and you want to add hot water. So there's my water heater right there, that hose sitting out in the sun. So I'm going to be spraying this on with my garden sprayer here and then I'll be power washing it, pressure washing it back off. I just finished pressure washing this trailer, so now I'm going to back it into the sun, let it dry off for a minute. Alright, so it's a pretty warm day, it's about 85 degrees out here, and we did have some sun, but the sun's behind a cloud right now, so we'll give this thing a few minutes to dry off, and then we'll do the next stage, which is the metal prep. For that... I have this stuff here, metal prep, metal etching rust neutralizer, prepares surface for best adhesion of rust preventive coating. So this is a rusty metal prepper. This metal prepper, you basically spray it on, keep it wet for about 20 minutes and then rinse it off. That self-etching metal prep has been on there a while. It's just about dry. So let me go ahead and back this thing up and power wash it again. The directions for that metal prep said the metal has to be bone dry before you can start painting it. So this might be a good chance to go take this thing out on the road and see how it does. That'll get it dry.
All right, for painting purposes, I think that's gonna work out just fine. Let's see if I can get this thing painted on the underside here with some primer. There are lots of different options for spraying this paint and I chose to use my airless paint sprayer here. I have probably sprayed at least 100 buckets of paint through here, five gallon buckets. So I'm very familiar with it, but spraying this oil-based paint was really, really awful. And so I think if I had it to do again, I would have just rattle canned this whole trailer instead of screwing around with this paint sprayer. So the sped up sections you're about to see look look like it went really, really well, but it was it was just horrible. It's been a couple days and this trailer is pretty well dry I think so it's time to put a coat of my yellow that I'm going to do here. The problem I was having with this paint sprayer was the hose itself. The last time I used the hose I forgot to tape off the ends of it and some wasps had packed fine, fine dirt and particles in there and I thought I cleaned the hose out but it was just jamming up the tip and in like every second was getting jammed. And so it was just really, really frustrating. I got covered in paint. That oil-based paint is super sticky and I just spent a bunch of money trying to get the, everything cleaned up afterwards and bought a new hose and it was just a terrible ordeal for me. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I didn't link any of the products that I used here. I'm not really sure that I would use them again because the paint doesn't seem to be holding up very well. And compared to some of the stuff I've done on my dump truck and other trailers with just rattle canning it, I think I may have just rattle canned this instead. The products and the paint were very expensive and I don't know that they really came out that great. Also, the yellow color, I think black would have been better, but I live next to South Carolina, which doesn't have trailer titles. And so a lot of trailer theft goes on here in North Carolina. And the number one deterrent to that is having a very conspicuous trailer. So I did want a very unique looking trailer and I, I think I'm gonna be touching up the yellow quite often. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it.